Hi, I'm jewelry designer Wendy Brandes. Welcome to my channel. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. If you're already familiar with my work, you might know that I love to redesign old jewelry. So if you have any fine jewelry that you never wear because it's in the safe or it's in the night table and it looks too old fashioned or it's not your style, get in touch with me and I will make it into something that you love. I've redesigned a lot of engagement rings for people who are actually still happily married um, just after 25 years or so your tastes change and um, I love doing that um, including this one for Helen which I just think is look at such a radical difference and it's it's definitely one of my favorites though I love all the engagement rings but have you ever heard the story about the starving baker he's so busy serving his customers that he never has time to eat himself my situation is not that serious but it's true that my uh, commitment to my customers comes first, so if they're having a new design or a redesign, all of my jewelry needs are at the end of the list. Um, so I'm not, I don't get to like sit around and design jewelry for me to wear all the time. As a result, I have had the longest running redesign situation. In 1998, when I was still a journalist, I went to Italy with my now husband, Mr. B, and we got this pearl pendant um, and I was very taken with this kind of chubby, cute, uh, irregularly shaped, silverish pearl that was set in white gold with diamonds. Seven years later, I went into the jewelry business myself in 2005, and I decided I really could only wear my own designs. So kind of as a note to myself, I thought I really have to redesign that pearl pendant at some point. It took me six years to get around to it. In 2011, I finally took the cute chubby pearl out of the old setting and made a new setting with uh, black and yellow gold and set with green garnets. I wanted something that fit into the work I was doing at the time. So if you look at my Marie Antoinette uh, ring and earrings, you'll see it's a very similar viney setting with green garnets. I was originally thinking of accenting the pearl with black diamonds, but pearls and any kind of diamond accents are, you know, it's a pretty standard look and I just wanted to go for something totally different that said Wendy Brandis. However, as it turned out, I wasn't quite finished. First, I put the pendant on a yellow gold chain to match the setting and then I decided that was no good. It really needed a platinum chain to match the color of the pearl. I switched to a platinum chain at a very standard 16 inch length. That's usually the kind of shortest standard length that people work from in chains. And I wanted it like that for a while and there was just something dowdy about it. I just didn't like it. So I thought a longer chain is the answer. But to have like a long chain, a long a ch pendant on a long chain that really makes a statement, I feel like you've got to go to 24 inches for the chain. And But a pearl is soft and delicate. And if you have a super long chain, it's being flung around everywhere. It's going to hit something. It's going to get damaged. So I can't remember. I went to like a 20 or 21, 22 inch chain. I wore it like that for a while, and then I decided that length was neither here nor there. Um, and I was like, again, note to self, just shorten this chain, shorten it to 15 inches, which is always a little more approaching the choker length. It's not an actual choker length, but it's getting there. Um, you know, it's, it looks distinctly different from the standard 16 inch chain. And I was like, that's all you have to do, just shorten that chain. So I, you know, it was on my list of things to do, and I got around to it seven years later again, this year, in 2018, I finally shortened the platinum chain. It's finally the right length. 20 years after I first got this pendant, it's my new favorite thing to wear. I wasn't thinking that that was gonna happen because for a long time now, I've been enjoying wearing lots of yellow gold chains and big pendants. And like I said before, a pearl is delicate and there's no way I'm layering you know, a nice, cute, chubby silver, I just love this chubby silver pearl with all kinds of chains and diamonds that are going to scratch it up. Lo and behold, I have for now given up my layering habit to wear this pearl necklace alone. If you have a piece of jewelry that you want redesigned so that you want to wear it every day, get in touch with me at info at wendybrandis.com and I promise you that no project for a customer has ever taken 20 years. That 20 year time frame is just for me, you know, baker, bread, customers, starving, that's it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you back next week.